He was named after his father's favourite film, starring rock legends The Who. Tommy Robredo is part of the Spanish Armada, currently dominating world tennis. Family life forged the talent, 100 miles north of Barcelona, in the Catalonian town of Olot. Hello, how are you? My dad, uh, when I was born, he just gave me the first present as a, as a racket. He loved tennis so much, and when, when I was five, then it's when he became a, a tennis coach. Then he moved to this city, and then is when I, when I moved here and I started playing tennis with him as a coach. And since I was 14, I was uh, playing here by him. We already played tennis in the tennis club before Tommy came along. We used to play our individuals or doubles matches. Tommy used to take his racket and would go on his own to hit the ball against the wall. And this was since he started walking, till about four or five years old. Life on tour can be tough. Even the most established stars can get homesick. Sometimes it's it's lonely, you are in, in a tour and maybe you are in the States uh, or in Australia for three weeks and you are with your coach or your trainer and it's a, a, a unique routine because you know that they ask you have to play or they ask you have to practice and, and that's why I like to be focused when I'm in the tour and then when I'm outside the tour I like just to relax, to be with my friends and, and to do normal stuff that when you're in, on tour you cannot do it. I live like, uh, wow, it's like four or five kilometers from here, right across on the mountains. You can see it, it's, it's beautiful and there's no, no sound at all here, so I come here and I stay with the horses and, and I love them. I think it's great to have some time off to, to be here and to do other things, not only tennis, you know, because our life is 100% is tennis. We are like, I know, most of the time uh, dedicating our life for tennis, but if you can see these uh, mountains and this place, it's, it's great to, to be quiet, to relax, and, and to get power back to, to come back to the season. It's lovely to be here. Eh? Que 2009 has been another strong year for Tommy. The Barclays ATP World Tour Finals are imminent, but only the top eights will qualify. On the years that we are living now, it's even harder, no? because we have two great players that they are Rafa and Roger, which they are doing things that it's, it's unbelievable. You know? They are winning nearly every week. Uh, so there's only six spots for being there. And, and then it's, it's so tough to be there. So if I'm, I can be there once again, it's going to be amazing. Robredo has made it to number five in the world. He's realistic about his legacy. I always say the same. I would like to finish my career and say, look, that's, that was Tommy Robredo. That was his best he could do, and he enjoyed being as a tennis player, and now he's going to do something else. I think that, uh, obviously, everyone wants to say, I'm going to, I was winning a Grand Slam, I was number one in the world, but this is a couple of spots that is for only some people, no? So I think that you have to give everything you have inside the court, and then when you go home, you are relaxed because you know that you did your best. I'm very happy with Tommy's career. You can always ask for more, but we have to realise that tennis is very competitive, especially at the top. The most important thing, and all I wish for him, is to be happy and that he enjoys playing tennis as he used to do when he was a child. That, for me, is the best memory and one that I'll always treasure. Tommy's 27, but the tour rarely gets easier as you get older. So what about life after tennis? The toughest question I think ever for a tennis player. The moment when he has to stop, uh, what he's going to do after. I love to organize tournaments. I would love to help some people. I would love to to win enough money to to could have a, a nice ranch, to have a nice family, and to to enjoy the time there and also working for something that I, I enjoy. Okay, see you. Thank you. <laughs>